Before you start using the green screen, we need to choose a background. Find the Safari browser, go to the top bar, and for my class type in Monet's Haystacks. Monet was a master at capturing color very quickly from the world around him. He did this in a time period where there was photography, but it was only black and white. All of these paintings look slightly different because of the conditions. Some are in the morning, some are in the evening. Some are in the winter, some are in the fall. The color changes each time, and Monet was a master at capturing this. Imagine how quickly he had to work to capture the color at sunrise. To save an image of the haystacks, click on one. When it appears like this, click and hold, and a bubble should pop up. You have two choices. Choose the one on top that says Save Image. It is now saved to the photo app. Make the bubble pop up, push and hold a little bit harder than usual. The Color Screen app is a great app, but it's not perfect. When opening it, turn the iPad so it's tall and vertical. Open the app and let it run through its opening sequence. Hold it vertically. Even if you go through this step, sometimes the camera is not aligned properly. If there's any problems, double click the home button and shut down the app like this. Back to the home screen, reopen it, restart the app, and hold it vertically. The box in the top left that says swap should always be set to green. The button below it is for selfie mode. On the right hand side, it should always be on the blue camera, and above that is to change your background. Now that it's gone through opening up, you can now turn the iPad horizontally, and in a couple of seconds, the camera will rotate properly. To change the background, click on the little picture in the top right hand corner. Choose an image, and then look in the camera roll for the last picture that you saved. There's my image of Monet's haystacks. I tap on it, and it's in. You can adjust it with two fingers if need be, and then hit done when you're finished. The top buttons appear to be ready to go. Swap green for this picture of Monet's haystacks. This bottom button is to take a picture. This slide bar is for green sensitivity. It should be somewhere right in this yellow range, just to the left of the capture button. This is where it works the best. To take a picture of yourself, you may need a friend to do it for you. I'm gonna take a picture of the robot. I've made sure I'm not seeing the floor, I'm just seeing the robot and the green color behind him. When I hold the iPad in front with the app, voila, it replaces the green with the picture of Monet's haystacks. I'm now going to line the robot up slightly to the left, right between the two haystacks, get him in a nice spot, and then hit the button on the bottom to capture the picture. Now he's in the haystacks forever. If you notice that the green screen didn't work perfectly, you may need to adjust the green sensitivity bar at the bottom a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. To see the pictures that you just took, hit the icon of the photos in the bottom right hand corner. Slide your finger left or right to see the previous images. Hit done in the top left hand corner to return to the camera screen. Now that we're finished the first picture, we can find another picture of haystacks that is different and repeat the process.